And I got some <coughs> snack. There we go. I'm not really asked about saving. I think I'll do uh, target mode on the... How many can you catch within the time limit? Catch all of the lums and finish the race in first position. Okay, you see, I'm kind of interested. Right, you see there, it, it says I've completed it, but you can't really fail at it, apparently. Which is, uh, beyond weird, but okay. Oh, that's why it's trying to play it in NTSC mode, but then remembers that it's a PAL game, so it switches it to PAL. Okay. Kind of funny those frog sounds. Um, I didn't know uh, Jim Sterling was saying that. I think only one breed of frog makes that kind of noise. The rest don't. Um, but the a lot of people associate it with that kind of noise because basically film and stuff made it to be the case that well frogs go ribbit now. Which I find kind of interesting. There's a place I know of where you get like hundreds of frogs. We occasionally get them in our garden because um, we actually raised a, a whole bucket full of tadpoles uh, into frogs. Uh, it was like 101 Dalmatians but with frogs. It was fucking awesome. Uh, and then one day uh, they just all fucked off. <laughs> left us, sons of bitches. Didn't even leave a note or anything. They were just like, fuck you. We're out of here. Thanks for the free food, suckers. And occasionally, every now and then, we just find frogs just in the garden, just hopping around. And we think they're like descendants of the ones that we looked after because they apparently have like a homing instinct. And for generations they kind of come back to the nesting place uh, where they came from. Which is a, a bit funny because we don't have any water in our garden. Uh, in order to raise these frogs we basically had to raise them in a... In a hot, like in a paddling pool. That was shaped like a turtle. Which is kind of funny. I remember the day uh, I was walking home from school with my mom, and uh, this guy just walks up to us, and he's got this bucket in his hand. He's like, "Hello, I have this bucket. 
would you take it or I'm gonna have to put it in the dumpster? And we were like, what? And we had a look. It's like a bucket full of fucking frog spawn. And apparently uh, he couldn't have it. I don't know why. So anyway, we took it and we're like, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll raise the frogs. So we did. There was hundreds of them. Or at least a hundred. I think there was around a hundred frogs in there. I mean, as a kid, my memories are a bit distorted as to how many frogs there would have been, but I'm estimating roughly around a hundred. One hundred and one there was. God, if I was an Andrew and one Dalmatians, there wouldn't be fucking Cruella de Villa behind him, a dog, so I'm fucking Andrew. Your dog's gonna get stabbed. Oh, fuck off, Andrew. Get out of my house. I'm going to stab them with my dick. Andrew, fuck off. I just want to touch the... No! <laughs> God, fucking hell, Andrew. <laughs> I can't help but laugh at this point, because it's just gotten to the point where you can't do much else. Basically, anyone you report Andrew to, they don't want to touch him. I don't blame it. Blame them, because he's fucking disgusting. But you'd think there'd be at least one person who'd be like, you know what, we're interested in pressing like some form of charges. No. Uh, we've had nothing but trouble with that shit. So, I can say that quite comfortably, because Andrew is so thick, I don't think he actually watches my content. He probably should, because I've talked about him a few times. But he's not going to because he's too fucking stupid. See, that's Tilly's voice, which is kind of funny. Did it go purple then? That's weird. Uh, but yeah, the whole Andrew thing at this point, we're just watching and waiting to see if anything happens. Because we've uh, had very little by way of luck when it comes to getting... I mean, I think part of it's the coronavirus. I think part of it's because these kind of institutions are usually fucking incompetent. But when it comes to trying to get someone to fucking pay some attention to what's going on, no. You don't get any of that shit. So I've recently been considering doing um, a stream, as I said earlier, but I'm not sure about, like, what sort of thing I should do. Because I don't think, really, game streaming, A, it's a market I feel kind of has been covered. But also, I feel as if it's um, kind of a... It feels kind of silly having a streaming series for my games and then playing them on, like, edited videos. Oh, so she only shoots them out of her mouth when, um, when, you know, she's not moving. Oh, when she's moving, okay. Oh, she turns into a blimp. That's kind of funny and clever. So I was thinking of maybe doing something a little different when I stream, uh, like a sort of hangout thing, but then I thought, well, maybe it might be fun as well to invite some people who I uh, trust or like and do a, um, maybe play some games or something 
Not necessarily even video games, like card games and shit. Um, I mean, it's just a work in progress at this point as an idea, but I kind of like the idea of it being a bit different. Maybe like Cards Against Humanity and stuff. Uh, I know some very funny and creative people who that would be really fun if we did that together. It's been a while as well since I played Cards Against Humanity with a group of people. Uh, the last time I played Cards Against Humanity with a group was uh, like August last year. And um, it was with my girlfriend and some friends in my writing group. And... Uh, I managed to win a few rounds, so that's good. I, I never really expect myself to win any of them because I am not very funny, but I managed it. Admittedly, though, you can be very funny and still not win if you get a shit hand. Every now and then, you just sort of have to burn cards. I know that some people are a bit too sensitive for Cards Against Humanity. Uh, admittedly, you can take cards out if you don't like, you know, references to the Holocaust and stuff. Um, which, you know, is fair enough if you want to do that. Um, I mean, one or two cards isn't worth somebody's enjoyment of the game or anything like that to me. I know there are some people who... Uh, don't really like the idea of changing things up for censorship, as they'd call it. So yeah, that's that. Orgasms. Alright then, so I've got two more levels. <sighs> Why do you have a zone zero? Why isn't it zone one, two, three? Shouldn't zone zero technically be like a zone that isn't supposed to be counted or something like that? It's a bit weird. Like zone zero to me would be the uh, future um, uh, league and your uh, spooky towers league.
I did notice a thing on um, social media last night about um, being apolitical right now isn't cool and all that shit. Which, I'm not an apolitical person, but there are some topics I don't talk about because I don't know much about them. Um, so, you know, I've just not really felt like diving headfirst into this shit show of a situation with the whole riots and things. And it doesn't mean that I don't, like, respect what's going on, but it could just mean that I respect it enough to keep my fucking nose out of it. And I think that is what I'd call respect. But, obviously that's not sexy enough for some people, and they're insisting, uh, if you're going to be apolitical right now, just remove me from your friends list. No, you remove me, arsehole. Go on. Because <laughs> I've, I've stood for, like, anti-fascism. Not, like, the Antifa movement or anything like that. But I've been doing everything I can for years now to, you know, get rid of some fucking anti-fascist groups. Sorry. Ugh. Some fascist groups on Facebook. Um, I personally have never really liked Antifa. I never liked working with anybody from that group. from Because I just have had so many bad experiences. But um, I find the notion that, you know, oh, I've decided not to say anything this time. Therefore, I'm A, apolitical. And B, it... If I am, it means I don't care about the situation. No, it just means I don't want to talk about the situation for one reason or another. I mean, what what am I going to fucking add to the conversation? Everyone sort of feels like their opinion is the most important opinion on the planet right now. But they also feel like everyone else not feeling that way is some sort of problem. And I'm not even the kind of person who goes, oh, every cunt's a politician right now. No, if you've got something to say, say it. By all means. But don't get fucking pissy with me because I just don't want to open my fat cake socket about an issue that I don't feel like I know enough to tackle it. Just like you can't tell me, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Well, clearly I do if I'm saying something. For fuck's sake. Honestly, these people are the same people that tell you not to speak when you disagree with them. But they tell you to speak if they want you to agree with them. And it's like, you can't have it both ways. Do you want people saying their minds? Or do you want people to shut up? Or do you just want people to agree with you? Regardless. I mean, I do agree with them, but I'm not fucking backing them if they're going to behave like that. I'm also very busy right now and don't really have time to be typing shit on social media or checking every 20 seconds for a new, um, fucking, uh, that's one thing as well I don't like about this, uh, protester George Floyd week. I'm, you know, I, I respect what people are doing, uh, even my friends who are going into cities and doing protests during the lockdown. Uh, I can respect what they're trying to do, and I've not criticised anyone who's not spreading misinformation. Uh, they don't like you when you do that. But I don't care, because their bullshit's going to get somebody killed. Uh, but what I do kind of find uh, annoying to, like, at least... Oh, fuck, sorry, I forgot where I was now, because I had to make that little admonishing point. But yeah, I respect what they're doing, but the thing is, whenever they do it, like these marches, or that thing where you stood on your doorstep, or blacking out all of your profile for a day, or whatever, these things weren't, like, known to me. I just woke up one day and they were just happening. So, you lot really need to do a better job of informing people about what the fuck you're doing with yourselves. You activist types. 
Because I followed 12 pages who are into that kind of shit. And... None of them told me. So... She doesn't even sound like that. I actually got two book teeth now. For the beard. Ah. She is just a reskin of Ray's beard. So I'm going to end by playing as everyone's favourite character. Tilly. <laughs> but yeah, like, I would have done a lot of the things that they asked. But the thing is, you've got to tell me before, not during the event. Especially when I'm, like, doing shit at that time. So that's interesting. Razor Wife is just basically um, a reskin of Razorbeard in this game. I do like as well that nobody ever removes misinformation once you point out that it's misinformation. It really gets on my tits, the amount of misinformation there is. And I wouldn't even mind, like, you know, if it was like a common misconception. But, or even something that was like, you know, disputed or reputed or debated, like... I don't know what comes to mind. Um... Thomas Crapper invented the toilet, for example. That's a common misconception. Um, and, you know, a lot of schools used to teach that shit. So, I can understand that people got it wrong. Um, and there were other things as well, like I learned as a kid, that the school system taught that was wrong. And it is widely accepted as truth when it's bollocks. But these are things that they just learned that morning on Facebook through a meme. And then go, oh, well, uh, it must be true because I read it on Facebook. And then they just share it like it's fucking gospel. Without any consideration to the fact that it's possibly not fucking true. And all you have to do to verify it is Google it. That's all it takes. I can understand if I was asking a lot and you had to go to your library. Just fucking Google that shit. Idiots. I know Google's not always right with what it sends back to you. I mean, the Muslim stuff taught me that, but... It's more right than just one meme as your source. On fucking Facebook of all places. misinformation that I was going to talk about. Oh, that was it, the writing. That's where it came into it. Sorry, I, I was uh, concentrating on the, that. So, during the riots, everyone was like, oh, well, uh, you should get... Uh, you should do this and you should do that. Like, plugging up fucking bullet wounds with tampons and shit like that. That is not a good idea, mate. That is a terrible idea. Uh, if someone throws a grenade at you, throw it back. No. Don't fucking throw grenades back at somebody. Especially ones that explode as soon as they fucking land in front of you. Like flashbang grenades. You don't have time to throw a flashbang grenade. You just gotta run away from it. Idiots.
But then you tell them that what they're doing is wrong and it could endanger lives. It's still there. They don't bother taking it down or even addressing the fact that you told them this. They just leave it. Because why the fuck not? Oh yeah, if it gets a few people killed, eh. God, these people who are not fucking lawyers are very eager to give out legal advice. And on that note, I have uh, officially finished. And there's nothing new to unlock in Rayman Rush. I'll have a look to see if uh, any secrets are behind this, but somehow I doubt it. So that was Rayman Rush, and it was um pretty good. Have I completed it 100%? Let's have a look. Ninety-eight point three percent. Okay, I think it's because I haven't unlocked all of the lums, but uh, as far as I can really give a shit, um, I've completed this 100%. So, that was Rayman Rush. Oh right, they just gone a loop. Uh, so yeah, that was Rayman Rush, uh, the PS1 counterpart to Rayman M. Um, it's not a bad PS1 port, but uh, it's probably the version I'd recommend the least because it's just really diet Rayman M. And whilst there are some cool new map designs, a lot of them are just sort of bare bones. There's a lot of fog, um, the game looks kind of ugly, it's not aged well in the slightest. Didn't even look good at the time, really. So, uh, basically, yeah, uh, Rayman Rush. Kind of a, an interesting game. Um, if it looks interesting to you, uh, check it out. You could do worse. Freaking Akira here, bad freaking. <laughs>